Hello everyone, welcome to my new video on A2019 programming and today we are going to talk about master tasks and subtasks and how to call a subtask from a master task, how to pass the parameters, how to accept the parameters and how to return the values back to the master task and how would master task receive the values. Now what you see here is uh, two tasks, sample tasks I have created, one is master task, one is subtasks. Both the tasks are empty as of now and we'll start by putting in some sample codes and passing some variables. So let's start with the subtask. So let's say the subtask uh, accepts two types of variables. One is a name, oh sorry, one is the type string and the other is the type numeric. So let me just create uh, a string variable called customer name. And since the subtask is accepting this variable as an input, we select the option use as input over here. Our type is string, create. Let's create one more numeric variable. Customer age, use as input. It's a numeric variable, create. Now, once we receive the two variables, uh, we need to create a string which says uh, the customer name received is this and the customer age received is this. And that string needs to go as the output of the subtask back to the master task. So for that, we create a string type output variable, str output string, and we select use as output. So whatever values or whatever variables we select use as output over here, those variables will be output for the subtask. Let's select this create. So basically what we are going to do is uh, in the actions I'm just going to send a message box which says customer name received as dollar str customer name customer age received as dollar customer age. Now, I can type customer age but it's a numeric field so I have to put a two string. I've shown this in my previous videos. And that's how you put a number variable in a message, string, message box by using a two string inline function. Now this is my message box. So my subtask is going to throw the message box to the user at the same time my subtask is going to populate the string. So Whatever I have kept in my message box, I'll just copy the entire string. And I'll give it to my output variable. So that's all I need to do. I just need to assign the value to my output variable. I don't have to specifically write any statement to return it. So as soon as the subtask is done, it's finished, it's completed. This output variable goes back to the master task because this output variable is tagged as use as output when we created the variable. Let's go back to our master task now. So in my master task, what I'm going to do is I am going to create uh, two variables. One is name. And these are just local variables for the master task. I don't have to tag any input or output. And the other variable is age. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a string action, string assign where I'm going to assign the value John to name. I'm just going to copy this and paste it again. And here I'm going to assign, oh sorry, it's a number assigned. So I'll delete this, do a number assign, put the value 30. Did I create? both the variables as string because it's not showing any numeric variables in the drop down for me which means that I don't have any numeric variables so if you see this age variable is supposed to be numeric but it's marked as string so I'll just delete this variable from here create the variable again and change the type to numeric create so now if you see the number assigned shows a drop down value which says age so now both the string variable and number variables are assigned I'll just save this it will reflect here now I'm 
going to call the subtask. So for that, I'll search task part run. So I'll just expand this task part, drag it over here. We'll put control room file because both the master task and subtasks are in the control room. Browse parts, A2019 programming. I'll just navigate to my subfolder and select the subtask. Confirm. The moment we select the subtask, the two variables the subtask is requesting for is customer name and customer age. It knows these two variables as input because we have tagged these variables as input while creating the variables in the subtask. Now, we just map it to our name variable and age variable. So if you see the notations over here, this shows a double quote and this shows a pound symbol. So it means that this is expecting a string parameter and this is expecting a numeric parameter. Now, this takes care of sending the variables to the subtask. But what about receiving the variable from the subtask? So that's where we need to create a dictionary. So we create a dictionary of type string and name it DICT task output. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to run the subtask. I'm going to run the master task. It's going to assign the values John to the string, 30 to the number, and it's going to call the subtask with these two parameters. The subtask is going to join these two parameters in a proper string sentence and return the string back to the master task in this dictionary. Now, how to read this dictionary? What would be the key value of the dictionary? If you've seen my previous videos, I have talked about this. The dictionary is basically a key value pair. So if you want to read a value of the dictionary, you need to know the key name. In this case, the key name of this dictionary would be the output variable name of the subtask. So if I remember correctly, the output variable name was uh, str output string. Let me just go back and confirm this. I'll just save this, close this. Go back to my subtask. And this is my str output string. If you go to variables and double click on str output string, you'll see that we have marked this as output. So coming back to our master task, we can easily put a message box over here. And in the message box, we can see message received. And we can put a F2, select the dictionary. And in the key, we can mention str output string. Let's run this. Okay, so this is the first message box that is coming from the subtask, not from the master task. The subtask is sending this message saying customer name received is John, customer age received is 30. This entire string is sent back to the master task. And this is the message of the master task message received. Customer name is John, customer age received is 30. So that's how we pass variables to a subtask and collect output from a subtask. Now, these are simple variables. Let's try some complex variables. Let's go back to our subtask. Uh, let's keep these lines. I'll just uh, comment the message box. In the variables, we'll create uh, a dictionary type of variable. So I'll give DICT and I'll name it uh, customer details. So let's say this dictionary contains customer details which are received from the master task to the subtask. Create a dictionary of type string. Create. So if you notice, this dictionary is created without any keys. So we don't know any key names in the dictionary. We did not create any key names in the dictionary. The dictionary is completely empty. So this dictionary is, I just missed this. So while we create this dictionary, we need to mark it as input. Apply. Done. Now, uh, we'll just comment this uh, mess string assign. Uh, I'll just uncomment this. And in the message box, we'll just remove the existing statement. And we'll write customer details received 
as below. And here we'll put F2, we'll select our dictionary and we'll put a dictionary key as uh, address. Now this address does not exactly exist in the dictionary as of now, but still let's go with that. I'll explain later. We'll put a key address, then again F2. company. So we are assuming two keys in the subtask. One is address and one is company for a dictionary which is completely newly created in the subtask. Now we'll save this, close this. In the master task, we already have a task run statement. So we'll just remove this, save it, close it, open it again just to refresh the references browse navigate to a folder select the subtask now this subtask has three inputs we already had string and numeric now we have a dictionary type of input now to satisfy these values we already have our uh, string value over here which is customer sorry, which is name, age, we'll keep it blank as of now. And we will create a dictionary over here. DICT. We'll just name it details. This will be of type dictionary of subtype string. Now in this dictionary, we will have to create some fields because we are going to pass data to the subtask. So how to do that? Now you come to actions, we have dictionary commands, inside that we have this put command. So we use the put command to assign keys to the dictionaries. Now uh, we can use the put command to assign values to existing keys or to create new keys. Uh, before that uh, I'll just copy the string assign, paste it again, drag it to the top and I'll just put an address over here saying, uh, let's say, San Francisco. And assign it to prompt assignment. In the dictionary put, I'll just choose my dictionary of details, associate to this key. Now, the key that we used, that key that we assumed in our subtask without even knowing is address. So this key we are passing from here. The new value that we are going to put to this key is prompt assignment, which we just assigned. And the previous value, which anyway is null, we'll just assign it back to prompt assignment. Save it. Now we'll copy both the statements and paste it again. Now we are going for company. Test company. Again, we are assigning it to prompt assignment, selecting the same dictionary. This time the key is company. And this remains same. So we are assigning prompt assignment. The new value is company to this company key and the old value goes back to prompt assignment. So now the dictionary has two values. So while calling the subtask, we will select this parameter and we'll pass DICT details. Save. And we'll comment this message box for now. We don't need this. Now when we run this master task, We got a message from the subtask saying customer details received as below San Francisco test company. How did that happen? This task run command has passed this dictionary, which is the entire set of keys and values. So this dictionary contains two keys. One is this address, which contains San Francisco. The next key is company, which is test company. Now, when this dictionary is passed with all the details to the subtask, the subtask is accepting that in a blank dictionary, which is DICT customer details. And that blank dictionary is getting populated with all the keys and values and that's how the message box is working. The important thing is the key name should be correct. There should not be any typo mistakes, otherwise it would fail. So this is how we are passing variables simple and complex between master tasks and subtasks. 
uh, in the future videos we are going to look at some uh, excellent file operations uh, some pdf operations and so forth thank you so much